So this is a quick close up at the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer. This is the 1.8 ohm. You can see that a very large ceramic cup in there. This is the cup and the wick and the coil on a normal 510 that's been debridged and de-wicked. And then this is the close up of the ceramic cup on the Smart Vapes dripping at it. You can see how huge that cup and well is where all the juice will just sit there right on the coil. So hey, Jenner Merg here, looking at the uh, Smart Vapes dripping 1.8 ohm atomizer. I am not usually a big dripper. This might change my mind. Now, I got a drip shield on it, because you can still put so much juice in there that it will come out the air holes and, you know, leave it to me. I did. But even at 1.8 ohm, I mean, I only have it rocking at 3.8 volts, pretty steady. It is just a really heavy, velvety feeling kind of vapor that, you know, I don't even get from 1.5 ohm atomizers and normal ones that I've dripped. So I don't know if that has to do with that bigger cup that's around the coil and the wick, but they work great. Um, I am actually think I'm going to be getting some more and dripping more frequently than I used to do. Yeah, just not that it's a super ton of vapor, but it's, and I could probably punch that up a bit. I don't think I want to punch it up that far. Now I will say, um, they eat juice. Um, you know, you can put five or six drops in there and after a few puffs, you're going to have to put some more in because droughty hits pretty fast. I think it's because most of the juice you're getting in there is getting right into that little cup and going right on the coil and burning right up. So you're going to go through juice. But that's true of almost any LR atomizer. So, hey, if you're a big dripper, i definitely say give them a try because it's not just... You know, I can debridge Addy's, but you saw in the picture that even my debridged standard Addy only has that tiny little cup around the coil and the wick. It's still different than this big cup where all that juice can sit all around the wick and the coil and keep it completely wet. So it's different than the ones that you may debridge on your own. So I'd say pick one up and give it a try.